Pakistan has launched retaliatory strikes on Iran. This just really raises the tension between these two countries, and it follows Iran launching its own strikes on Pakistan just days earlier. In this strike by Pakistan on Iran, there are some nine people who have been killed, and it struck the Sistan and Baluchistan province in Iran. And earlier, Iran had struck Pakistan's Balochistan province earlier this week, killing at least two people. Now, these back and forth strikes, in theory, are targeting Baluch militant groups, Baluch separatists who seek to have their own state in this region. But this also comes amid wider tensions that we see in the Middle East over Israel's war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. From the Iranian side, they have been trying to avoid a direct confrontation with the United States and Israel while still kind of keeping up their rhetoric and supporting proxy or groups like Hezbollah, like Yemen's Houthi rebels that have launched attacks in support of Hamas. Now, Iran also has been facing pressure internally within its theocracy to do something amid all these ongoing strikes and the war in Iran had launched strikes on Iraq and Syria before launching this strike on Pakistan to try to ease that tension within its ruling government, and particularly after it's faced months-long protests over the theocracy. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, Pakistan has a very important general election coming up in February. Pakistan's military also remains a really key political part of that, of that country, of that government, and they want to show that they're able and capable to strike back, particularly as nuclear armed Pakistan still faces threats from its neighbor, nuclear-armed India. Now, as of right now, both sides are saying that, or trying to say that they're going to de-escalate. There's talks going on between diplomats and regional countries are urging everyone to take the tension down a level. However, it just shows just how dangerous the situation is in the wider Middle East. I'm John Gambrell for the Associated Press in Jerusalem.